Welcome to Are You Smarter Than a Freshman? I'm Dylan Roach. Let's begin. Here we have our freshman, Rowan Lichtenwalner. Are you ready to play, Rowan? Yes, I am. All right, that's great to hear. Now please welcome our contestant, the Dean of Students here at Radnor High School, Mr. Thomas. Thank you. All right. Oh, you know what that sound means. It's time to play. The first question will go to our guest, Mr. Thomas. If you get the question correct, you'll get 25 points added to your score. If you answer the question incorrectly, Rowan will get a chance to answer his own question to get 25 points for himself in addition to stealing your points. Are you ready? I am. All right, let's begin. Our first category is the history of portrait and abstract art. Mr. Thomas, here's your first question. Pablo Picasso was an influential painter who lived from October 25th, 1881 to April 8th, 1973, starting his craft at the tender age of nine. Your question is, what was the title of his first painting? Self-portrait. I'm afraid that is incorrect. The answer was Le Picador, painted in 1890. It's a beautiful painting. You should Thanks. I should look it up. Uh, all right, so Rowan, you are now having the opportunity to get your own question, to get 25 points for yourself, okay. and steal Mr. Thomas's points All right. for a grand total of 50 points. <laughs> Here's the question. On April 12th, 1796, artist Gilbert Stewart painted an iconic portrait of the nation's first president. The question is, who is the first president? George Washington. <laughs> That's correct. Wow. Uh, all right. <laughs> Our second category is geography. You each have a chance to answer the following question individually on the paper supplied to you. You'll be answering a question about U.S. states. Is everyone ready to play? Yes. yes. All right, maybe you can get some points, Mr. Thomas. Thanks. All right, let's, <coughs> let's begin. This U.S. state is the home of the Golden Gate Bridge and is commonly referred to as the Golden State. Please write your answers now. All right, that's time. Uh, Mr. Thomas, <laughs> could you please show your answer first? California. Ooh, I'm afraid that's incorrect. <laughs> Rowan, what did you get? I wrote, what is California? That is correct. I'm sorry, you had to put it in uh, question form. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Round two. Oh, you know what that sound means. It's time for round two. The next quarter category, sorry, will be math. This question is worth 50 points, so craft your answer with care. Each contestant has a buzzer and a blank sheet of paper <coughs> to do their work on if they choose. When you have reached an answer, hit the buzzer in front of you, and I will call on you so you may state your answer. But do not state your answer before I call on you. Got it? Got it. Yes. All right, here's the question. You may start your work as soon as I start reading. Sandra has 60 carrots. She gives 12 carrots to Bobby. 15 carrots to Allie, and 20 carrots to George. How many carrots does Sandra have left? Anyone can uh, hit the buzzer. Yes. Uh, I got a picture of a cat. <laughs> That's correct. All right. Um, <laughs> what? What's going on? Uh, what do you think is going on? This it's, is rigged. Hey, Brett, if you could just let me stick to the hosting, that'd be great. Thank you. All I'm right. going to win. Oh, 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 you know what that sound means. <laughs> it's time for the super instantaneous speed round. Each contestant will have 30 seconds to answer a series of questions from their chosen topic. You may choose from the three following topics. Uh, we'll let Rowan go first because uh, Mr. Thomas is losing. <laughs> Rowan, you may choose from generic shapes, name that light bulb brand, and pronunciations of foreign letters. I choose generic shapes. All right, wonderful <laughs> choice. In three, two. Do I get to answer this? No, this is, is it my your turn? <laughs> three. <laughs> this is unbelievable. Three, two, one, go! Circle. Uh, square. Uh, oval. Oh, slow down, bro, and you're on a Pentagon. roll. Pentagon. Pentagram. <laughs> uh, triangle. It says triangle. Trapezoid. <laughs> uh, sideways square. Rectangle. Uh, I don't... 
A hexagon. No. Nine gone. It's not your turn. The <laughs> square. Moon. That's not uh, even a shape. Kite. Uh, cube. Star. Heart. Stop sign. Uh, cylinder. Uh, half circle. Cone. Uh, four leaf clover. What? This is amazing. This, this is not Arrow. even a shape. Arrow. Triangle again. There's two triangles. Uh, rectangular prism. Talk for your turn. So if that'd be great, if you just stayed silent, that'd be great. <laughs> All right, that's time. That was amazing. I, don't, I didn't even count how many points that was. So let's just uh, give Rowan 100 points. All right, um, we're actually going to deduct 20 <laughs> points from Mr. Thomas for speaking. This is a joke. Times. All right. I thought this so, was a fair competition. I don't know. Well, it is. This, this okay. is a game show, not electoral college. All right, let's, uh, <laughs> all right. Mr. Thomas, since uh, Rowan already used generic shapes, you may choose from <coughs> name that light bulb brand or... Uh, Foreign letters. What, what do you choose? Foreign letters? You would like to pronounce foreign letters. Foreign letters. All right, okay. wonderful choice. <clears throat> All right, here's an example, because it can get a little tricky at times, even though you uh, did take the easy way out. I'll give you a foreign letter, and you will have to tell me how it is pronounced. For example, we, uh, we see the old English letter win. You'd have to tell me that it is pronounced wa. Do we understand? <laughs> Sure. Yes? Yes, yes, we understand. All right, we'll start in three, two, one. This is the Icelandic letter thorn. Please tell me how it's pronounced. Ah. Ah? Ah. Ah, uh, sorry, we were looking for th All right, next is the uh, Hebrew letter dalit. Mech. No, duh. Mm. Uh, this is the pronunciation of the Elvish letter A. Elvish? That's not even a letter. Then how do they speak in Middle Earth? <laughs> uh, I don't know. All right, it was A. Ah. Um, <clears throat> next is the letter Ej. That's but the how it would be pronounced in Sami? That's the number three. It is not the number three. That's it is the, the number letter three. coming off as extremely <laughs> racist. Um, uh, all right, uh, sorry, you're taking a little too long. I we don't would know. have accepted Z. Or ja, or even, it looks like the symbol on Chance the Rapper's hat. We would have given you half credit for that one. Who's Chance the Rapper? Next. All right, the Latin ligature, where? Where? Like yes, huevos where? rancheros? Uh, we went for the letter hua, not I said hua. Hueven rancheros. <laughs> Next is the open O used in several African languages. <clears throat> I don't know. We would have accepted O or O. Oh. Next is that uh, we're giving you extra time, so you should be uh, thanking us. <laughs> Next is the glottal stop used in many North American <clears throat> languages. Glottal stop? The that glottal be? stop. <coughs> <clears throat> no. We were looking for the sound between the vowels o oh, o oh, or a uh, a. Uh. Fun fact, an apostrophe is commonly used to explicitly represent this sound. Isn't that interesting? All right, we'll give you one more question. We'll give you, I don't know. Like 15, 15 points if you just answer this. this that's all right. Sure. The letter Eng from the Bambara language. Eng? Yes, Eng. Do I have to draw it? No, you just you have to say how it's pronounced. That's how we play it. Eng from the. Eng. We are, uh, we're looking for Eng. Eng. <laughs> is this why you're a dean and not a foreign language <laughs> teacher? That, yes, that is the reason. All right, uh, well, before we look at the score, I just want to say thank you for everybody participating in this, and uh, stakes have been higher than ever. So I just want to say this game show is rigged. All right, seriously, if Brett. It's rigged. Brett, <laughs> if you could just let me do the hosting, that would be good, because you're, you're a contestant. You're, you're the wrong. contestant. Um, wrong. Rigged. It's rigged. Sounds familiar. All right. <laughs> Oh, you know what that sound means. It is time for the final round. All right. Each question is worth thir <coughs> I'm sorry. We just, we just got word. Uh, sorry for this interruption. We just got word that one of our contestants is cheating and has been provided all the answers beforehand. So we're going to have to do a little investigation. Kind of just... Good. Um, let's come around here. Uh, if you could get out of your seat, Mr. Thomas, that'd be...
What's this? What? It's not even my handwriting. What, what is it? Can you explain to me what it is? It says answers to the cheat sheet on the game show. But that's I'm not, unfortunately, that's not my handwriting. Mr. Thomas has been cheating. But We're I'm clearly on camera. I didn't even look at All it. All right. So that's, that's the result. How uh, does that help me? That We're going to have to ask you to leave. You know what? <laughs> All right. So the results are in. It looks like Rowan wins by default and because he would have anyway because he has many more points. All right, thank you for watching. Join us next time on Are You Smarter Than a Freshman? The answer was no.